Okay, so if we're gonna open this up, of course we're gonna need spikes. So let me grab this. This is a brush. This is not spike. Um, yeah. It's Audrey, and a lot of you guys have been requesting for another Rainbow Loom tutorial video for beginners is what we called it. So that is what I'm going to be doing today since a lot of you really wanted it. Like we've been getting a lot of requests for this video. So on a toy hunt, I found this pack of My Little Pony Rainbow Looms uh, bands, and it comes with three charms, Fluttershy Rarity and Rainbow Dash. Yeah, and I also have this DJ charm, which I already had and opened up a different pack. And I have no idea where my other Fluttershy went, but I'm really happy that it comes with Fluttershy. So I'm going to be using this and then these beads. So yes, this video is going to be how to put on charms and beads. See, I have P-O-N, wait, P-O-N and Y, because I'm going to spell out pony on my bracelet. Because, yeah, you can put letters and charms on one bracelet. Um, so, yeah, I have two different sizes, too. And don't forget, if you're going to use a bead, it has to have holes on the sides. Not on the top, otherwise your letters would be like that. So, yeah, I kind of made that mistake. We went to Joann's. And I bought those beads and I didn't realize it was on the top. And so I was like, ah, I bought those beads for no reason. So that's kind of disappointing. But okay, I'm going to open this up, which is going to be pretty easy. So guys, I am going to be just doing a normal fishtail over to um, rubber band rainbow loom bracelet. Don't forget, you guys, I have done a rainbow loom tutorial video before. So if you want to see how to do those fish tails definitely go back and watch that this is kind of hard to open you know what spike i'm gonna need to bring out you and i should have just done this snip snip snippity snip there we go that was easy kind of so here are all the charms they will come on this plastic piece of plastic and just hang there on it very nice display. You know what? I should just leave the charms on here. Go get a hook, punch a hole in this, and just hang it on the wall. Because look at how beautifully they display. Yeah, I should just do that. So here are the four charms I have to use. Now, I'm only going to probably put one or two of them on. Maybe, yeah, because you can put a bunch of charms. You can make a charm bracelet out of these. Because these clip on really easily. If you guys want to use any My Little Pony charms, I would definitely use these ones. Because these ones are the easiest clips. There are some other, like the dye, the do-it-yourself packs that come with charms. But they're like those metal clips. And they're so hard. Like, I really hurt my finger one time trying to put it on. Um, but okay, let's get started. Let's see, which ones do I have? I have pink, blue, and purple. I'm guessing pink resembles Fluttershy. Purple resembles Rarity, and blue resembles Rainbow Dash. And then purple and blue resemble Vinyl Scratch. Well, actually, all those could, because see, she has like the pink in her glasses. So. And then 12, I think, S clips. So this little pack comes with three charms, 300 bands, and 12 clips. That's a pretty good set, so if you just want to Start doing it. Definitely get one of these packs. There we go. And once I get to one third of the bracelet, that's when you're gonna put on the beads. Don't forget you guys, it is over two, not just over one. If you wanna make it really work, you might wanna do over two. So that's what I like to do. It works a lot better. Guys, what I like to do is when I'm making my bracelet, 
I like to put the end piece, the end band, on what my next finger, my ring finger. F finger, finger, yeah, finger. <laughs> For some reason I thought it was finger. I don't know why. Um, so then I see how long I've made it and then I can just stretch it by going like that. Ah! Band all loose. Looking pretty good. And don't forget you guys, you can always put on a charm even while you're still making it. So you could just like take DJ and just clip her on right then. Oh, I forgot. I need to take out the charms from their plastic prisons. Plastic prisons. Dun, dun, dun. So guys, the reason you put on the beads right on, when you get one third into the bracelet is because then like it will act as like another third of the bracelet and it'll be right in the center. And then once you do that other third, it'll just be bands and so it'll be right in the middle. And by the way, you guys, it will end up being like this on your bracelet. I don't know how to do it to the side. Wait, is that backwards? Yeah. Um, I don't know how to do it like this way, facing like that, but I know how to do it like that. I even made my friend Ileana a bracelet that was green and said Katniss on it because she's a huge Hunger Games fan and so am I. I'm gonna use the pick for taking these off now. Yeah. Okay, so once you thought you've gotten to one third of your bracelet, pull up your third rubber band. And so it's like that, and you're ready to put another one on. So what you do is you take your letters, and you, you could do this in the beginning if you wanted to be all prepared, but let's see, what's my next color? My next color is purple. So what I would do is I would take a purple band, then I would take my bead, and see the hole? Pinch your rubber band, and pull it through. So it's like that. So then what you do is you take it, you know what, I'm gonna be right back and I'm gonna put, get two pencils to hold these. So it, it might be easier, so you have your hands. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my pencils, and now what do I do, what I do is I take my bead with rubber band in through it and I just put it on the pencils. See what I did? I just slipped both sides through the pencils. So it will look upside down on one side, but on the front, it's the right way. Then you just push it down. And what I like to do is I like to put bands in between them, in between the letters. And of course you can get all creative and you don't have to make a word. You can just put them randomly on a bracelet. It's <laughs> just so funny, but <laughs> it's really fun what you can do with them. Oh, and actually in my pack, I got a heart as one of my beads. So I could put that on, but I don't have it with me. So see, then what is my next color? Pink. So then I would, what I like to do is I just like to put one on top. And then once you do that, you're gonna want to, I know you can't really see that that well, but what I did was I pushed up the band on top of the bead. Cause it was like in front of the bead and stuff. So sometimes that will happen where you're gonna have to push the bead out cause it will start going inwards and push the rubber band up. And there, oh my gosh, and I just realized. So yeah, I just made a mistake there. See, isn't like P supposed to be the very start of the word so you have to go backwards into the word so I, if i were doing pony i would have to start with y so i'll really quick take this apart i'm actually glad i made that mistake i'll take that one and i will grab the y instead and just do the same thing slip the rubber band through the hole 
and then pull it out the other side like that and then what I do in order to put it on is I take my middle finger and my pointer finger and I just go like that I'm gonna use my other finger to help hold it on so that's what you need to start with you need to start with the very last letter of that word then just take that up and so see the band gets in front of the letter so you'll have to pull it up and push the letter up there we go like that and then you'll just go upwards and continue making your bracelet so what i'm going to really quick do is the next one I need is blue, so I'm going to slip a blue one through the end. And then, yeah. So there we go. I just finished the word pony, and then and then that will is what it will look like. So now you guys get what I meant by it will go up and down instead of um, whatever the other word is side to side but then you'll just finish off the rest of your bracelet and then of course do the same thing which I will show you at the end you put the clip on and all that stuff and then you'll be done just put this blue on and so pull up this one and then this one then this one, then this one, then pull this one to the other side. So there's the bracelet. Now I will use one of my S clips. I'm going to pull this down and slip this through. You know what? There we go. Got it hooked onto there. I'll just set this one over here too. And get to the other side. And I'm just gonna clip it onto one side. And there we go. That's how you put on beads. But don't forget, this is also charms. So what you do is you choose one of the bands you want to put your charm on. What I do is I pull it out so then it hangs out a little more. See that? Then, however you have to put your clip on, you just hold that band, and push it through. And there we go. Got DJ on there. Hmm, who should I put on? Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, or Rarity? I'm gonna put Rainbow Dash. So, once again, choose your band, pull it out, and slip your charm through. And there we go, I've got my pony bracelet. Cool. So I hope that helped you guys out with that because I know you guys were definitely wondering how to do that stuff. Um, but I think that's pretty much it for this Rainbow Loom tutorial video. I will be doing more very soon, but I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and bye-bye.